police chief in Pennsylvania has been found guilty for raping a child, and we do want to warn you that the details in this case are disturbing. According to Pennsylvania Attorney General Josh Shapiro, 30-year-old Brent Getz, the former Waysport chief of police, was found guilty after he was originally charged in March of 2019. According to Shapiro, the assaults started with the child, who was four years old, and continued regularly for seven years. Attorney General Shapiro saying in a statement, quote, This verdict holds Brent Getz accountable for his horrific crimes against a child and brought justice to a brave survivor who had the courage to come forward. Getz co-defendant Gregory Wagner also pleaded guilty and testified against Getz. They will both be sentenced at a later date. Hey everyone, today I'm diving into a deeply troubling and important topic. The 2024 scandal involving police officers caught in a child pornography ring. So how did we get here? It all started with an extensive investigation by federal authorities. Over the past year, they uncovered a network operating across multiple states involving not just civilians but also individuals sworn to uphold the law. Now when we think of police officers, we think of protectors. People who put their lives on the line to keep us safe. But in this dark twist, some officers wound on the other side of the line. The investigation revealed that these officers used their positions of power to hide their heinous activities, exploiting the trust placed in them by the community. Why did these officers do it? Well, that's a complex question. Some were driven by personal demons, others by a deep-seated sense of invulnerability, thinking their badges shielded them from justice. This scandal has shaken public confidence and raised serious questions about oversight and accountability within police forces. Authorities have already arrested several officers and more arrests are expected as the investigation continues. The public outcry has been massive, with many demanding thorough reform and stricter screening processes for law enforcement personnel. This is just about punishing the guilty. It's about understanding how such a breach of trust could happen and ensuring it never happens again. It's about protecting the most vulnerable among us and holding accountable those who exploit their power for nefarious purposes. In the wake of this scandal, communities are coming together to demand transparency and justice. It's a painful reminder that vigilance is necessary, even when it comes to those who are supposed to be our protectors. So what can we do? Stay informed, stay involved, and keep pushing for the changes that ensure our police forces are trustworthy and accountable. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, please like and share. And remember, awareness is the first step towards change. Stay safe and stay vigilant.